Hi everybody, welcome to video nine of the WordPress installation series. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fill out the WordPress installation form and then log into your WordPress site for the first time. So this form is actually quite quick and easy to fill out. All the information you enter in here, you can change later. So it's not life or death, it's not written in stone. So just type in your um, your website title and this is just a demo site and it's called wp-pht.com is the domain name so my site type title will just be WP PhD you would enter whatever your website title is in there and then you'll enter your username for me I'll use my name it wasn't until WordPress 3.0 that you could actually choose a username. Before then, it was always just admin. And that was a bit of a security flaw because a hacker would know, guaranteed, what the username is because everybody's username was admin. As of WordPress 3.0, you can choose a custom username. And here it gives you rules on how to create that username. And this is just a security precaution. It makes your site a little bit dip more difficult to gain access to because now they have to guess your username and your password, whereas before it was just guessing your password. So all that to say, do not put a username of admin in there because the automatic tools will then be able, they, they always try for admin first because a lot of websites will have that as the username. So just don't put admin choose something else. For the password, you can choose whatever password you want. There's a strength indicator. They have some guidelines to help you make the password more secure. I'm just going to put in a really basic one. Just for the purposes of this video, I encourage you to put in a complex password that would be hard to guess. And then you just enter in your email here. This doesn't have to be an email associated with the website. It can be any email. To this email will be sent that sent information about the site you just installed. So you don't want to send it to some random person's email address. You want to have it go to one that you own and control. For the privacy, you can check or uncheck this box to allow search engines to index your site. Sometimes when you have an internal intranet for your company or if you want to do a private members area that isn't that doesn't show up in the search results it's a good idea to uncheck this box one thing to note is it's up to search engines whether they honor your request to not index so you might uncheck this box telling search engines to not index your site but it might still show up in the search results so this isn't foolproof uh, but at least it's one step in the right direction. There's a lot of other steps you can take to keep your, your pages out of the search engine's index. This is just one of them. So after the form is all filled, click on the Install WordPress button at the bottom. And within a few moments, success, WordPress is installed. And you click on the Login link. I have an app that autofills my passwords and it obviously got the wrong password for this website. So I want to log in with the information I just created or just input in the form before. Click on login. And here we are. For the first time, you've just logged into your WordPress site and you can start playing around with the, your WordPress dashboard. We have a whole video series dedicated to how to use the WordPress dashboard and how to familiarize or helping you familiarize yourself with WordPress and how to use it. And that brings us to the end of video nine of the WordPress installation series where I showed you how to finalize your WordPress installation. In the next video, I'm gonna show you an alternative to the, installations, uh, to the installation method I just went through in the previous videos. It's called the one-click install. It's quick and easy, but it's a little bit less secure and it really depends on your needs, whether you want to use the one-click option, but I will show you how to do it in the next video. I hope this information serves you, and I hope to see you in the next video. Again, my name is Bjorn Allpass from WPLearningLab.com.
So no matter what comes your way, nothing can ruin your day.